so good morning everyone and uh, welcome to the lecture we are starting a brand new chapter and the name of this chapter is center of mass so that is the heading center of mass anyone uh, understands what does the meaning of this what is the meaning of the center of mass anyone has any idea center of mass so if i have to define the center of mass so you can just write the definition of com com is center of mass now if you have a body and that body is <laughs> is moving now there is a point on that body it may be inside the body it may be outside the body uh if we understand the motion of that point we will be able to understand how that body is moving that point is known as the center of mass so there are a few things that you must remember about the center of mass what are the things that you must remember about center of mass so we'll write them point wise we'll write those thing point wise and try to remember them the first thing that you must remember about the center of mass the center of mass is an imaginary point center of mass is not a real point is an imaginary point it does not exist in real now center of mass of a body or you can find the center of mass for a system of particles may lie inside or it may also lie outside the body remember it's an imaginary point it's an imaginary point it does not exist really so it may lie anywhere it may lie inside the body it may lie outside the body do we understand this everyone now the third point that you should remember about the center of a mass that uh, this point moves in such a way that we can assume that we can assume that all the body all the mass of the body is put at that point and all the forces acting on the body are acting at that point remember the force is actually not acting at that point but we can imagine consider that if all the forces are acting on that point and all the mass of the body is acting on that point the body will move in the same way as that point moves i will try to make you understand it with an example so first just i'll wait for 2 minutes for you to write these points and then i'll try to make you understand so let me try to make you understand what i meant by when i said all the forces are acting on that point now let us take the example of this body that i am creating here now this body consists of a large number of particles let us say that i have three particles three bodies a body consists of a large number of particles do you understand this no this is a body it has an almost infinite number of small small particles yes or no we understand this yes or no now there may be different forces acting on this body maybe a force f3 is acting like this 
may be a force F1 is acting at point 1, may be a force F2 is acting at point 2. I'm just considering three points here. Now, because of these forces, say, you have this body, you have one force acting like this, one force acting like this, one force acting here. Because of these forces, are you listening, beta? Because of these forces, this body is going to move in a certain way. This body is going to move in a certain way. So I can find a point. It may lie inside the body or it may lie outside the body. I can find a point which I call as the center of mass. And this, if I find the motion of this center of mass, the motion of this center of mass will represent the motion of the entire body. So I can assume this point here where I can I can say that if the mass of this point is m1, if the mass of this point is m2, and if the mass of this point is m3, at this point I can assume that the total mass m1 plus m2 plus m3 is kept and the total force which is f1 plus f2 plus f3 is acting on this body at this point. So do we understand what I mean by center of mass? It's an imaginary point. The next thing that you must remember about the center of mass is the motion of center of mass of a body represents represents the translational motion of the body. And this is the important point. The motion of the center of mass represents the translational motion of the body. If you want to understand how that body is moving translationally, you just find out the motion of the center of mass of the body. We understand this, everyone? Okay. Now, the next point is, have you written this? The next point is, how do you find the location of the center of mass? How do you find the location of the center of mass? Has anyone noted this down? The next point is how do you find the location of this center of mass? To find the location of the center of mass, you can write the heading location of center of mass. Remember, the center of mass does not exist. It is just a concept that we have created. It is not a real point. It is an imaginary point. So, if I take the example of this system, now this system, as you can see, it has got three particles. The three particles it has is M1, M2, and M3. M1, M2, and M3 are the three particles in this system. And the position of M1 is given by R1 vector the position of m2 is given by r2 vector and the position of m3 is given by r3 vector now i can find out the center of mass of this system of particles or i have taken three particles there could be more than three particles as well i can simply use the formula and the formula that i can simply use is this one the position vector of the center of mass will be given by m1 into r1 vector plus m2 into r2 vector plus m3 into r3 vector. And I will do addition like this and divide it by the total mass m1 plus m2 plus m3 and so on. Do we understand this, how we have done it? 
Now, sometimes instead of asking you the position of the position vector of the center of mass, they may ask you what is the x coordinate. Only the x coordinate. If I want to find the x coordinate, I will put the formula m1 x1 plus m2 x2 plus m3 x3 up till mn xn and divide it and divide it by m1 plus m2 plus m3 and so on. Do we understand how I how can I find the x coordinate of center of mass? Yes or no? To find the y position of center of mass, you can add m1 y1 plus m2 y2 and so on till mn yn and divide it by m1 plus m2 up till mn. To find the z position of the center of mass, m1 z1 plus m2 z2 up till mn zn divided by m1 plus m2 up till mn. Everyone understands what we are writing here? Yes or no? I'll give you two minutes to note this down. Please note. Okay. Now, remember, most of the questions that you are going to get in this particular chapter may not be numerical. It may be theoretical. So, remember the important points and I will give you all the important points. Point number one is this. The, you can write the heading important points. Point number one. Everything I'm giving point wise so that you can remember them. Point number one, the position of center of mass of the system is independent of the coordinate system. So you choose any coordinate system. The position of the center of mass remains same. It does not change. Point number two, the position of the center of mass depends upon the size and shape and the distribution of mass. It depends on the shape and the distribution of mass. Point number three. If you have a symmetrical body, I hope you understand the meaning of a symmetrical body. Yes. Do you know what is a symmetrical body, beta? A body which is uniform, a body which has got symmetry, which is similar. Then the center of mass will coincide with the center of the body. If the body is symmetrical, then the center of mass will coincide with the center of the body. Say so for example, you have this square. The center of mass of this square will be at the center. If you have a rectangle, the center of mass of this rectangle will be at the center. Do we understand this? So for symmetrical bodies, the center of mass will be at the center. I will give you a table with all the center of mass. And if you can remember this table, it would be of great use. I hope you have noted down the three points. Yes or no? Then I will give you this table. Have you noted down the three points? Then you have this table that you can note down where you have symmetrical bodies. You understand the meaning of hollow sphere? Hollow sphere. The center of mass is at the center of the sphere. Solid sphere. Center of the sphere. Mm. Ring. Center of the ring. 
डेस्क सेंटर ऑफ द डेस्क रॉड सेंटर ऑफ द रॉड लैमिना वेन आई सी लैमिना आई मीन दिस इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ डायग्नल ट्राइंगुलर लैमिना ट्राइंगुलर शेप बॉडी इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ मीडियम रेक्टेंगुलर और क्यूबिकल ब्लॉक इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ डायग्नल हॉलो सिलेंडर मिडिल पॉइंट सॉलिड सिलेंडर मिडिल पॉइंट कोन और पिरामिड यू मस्ट रिमेंबर दैट इट इज थ्री एच बाई फोर सो आई गिव यू टू मिनिट्स टू नोट दिस डाउन टू नोट डाउन दिस टेबल टू मिनिट्स यू हैव सो आई थिंक यू हैव नोटेड दिस डाउन uh basically you might not get a question on this uh in your uh, neat exam this is just for your information if a question comes you should be able to write this now we have seen the position vector of the center of mass and from there we can also find out the next point which is the velocity of center of mass so if you have to find out the velocity of center of mass what do you do you multiply m1 with velocity v1 you multiply m2 with velocity v2 and so on you multiply mn with velocity of vn and you divide the entire thing by the mass m1 plus m2 up till mn on similar notes if you have to find out the acceleration of center of mass can anyone tell me how will i find the acceleration of center of mass the acceleration of center of mass will be m1 a1 vector plus m2 a2 vector mn an vector divided by m1 plus m2 up till mn everything comes on its own i'll give you 2 minutes to note this down note it down and let me know then let's move ahead and try a question this is a simple question that i have uh, got for you the question is like this you have to find the position vector of the center of mass of a system of three particles 1 kg 2 kg and 3 kg the position vectors are given to you you have to tell me the position vector of the center of mass of that part of system you will have 2 minutes you know the formula you have 2 minutes to get me the answer okay so how are we supposed to do this anyone can tell me how will i find the position vector of center of mass yes m1 r1 plus m2 r2 plus m3 r3 by m1 plus m2 plus m3 that's it you just have to multiply them correctly and just divide them correctly if you can do that correctly you will end up with the answer i hope you can do that tell me what is the answer that you are getting so that we can match it with the answer that i have with me the answer that you are supposed to get is 2i minus 2j plus 2 by 3k are you getting this answer beta Well done. If you are getting this answer, well done. Everyone got this answer. Okay, great. Let me give you another question, and uh, I hope that you can get the answer for that question as well. Can I give you the next question? this is the next question beta same question but now it is given in the form of coordinates now i hope you can solve this question and give me the answer the coordinates of the position of particle of mass 7 4 and 10 grams are this 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 find the position of the center of mass of that system can you get this one the x y and z coordinates are given can you find out the x y and z coordinates of the center of mass i'll give you 2 minutes calculate them easily just multiplication and division do them quietly i'll give you time once you are done please let me know so how are you supposed to find it i will first find i can do it this way i can find the x position of center of mass 
exposition of center of mass is m1 into x1 so 7 into 1 plus m2 is 4 4 into x2 is 2 plus m3 is 10 x3 is 3 divided by 7 plus 4 plus 10 m1 x1 plus m2 x2 plus m3 x3 divided by m1 plus m2 plus m3 and what are we getting as a coordinate of the x coordinate i think you will get 15 by 7 did you get it well then we can find out the y position of center of mass the first mass is 7 the y position is 5 plus second mass 4 y position is also 5 plus the third mass 10 y position is minus 1 uh, not minus 1 see i made a mistake y position is 3 <coughs> multiplied by 3 divided by 7 plus 4 plus 10 and the answer that we are going to get i think is 85 by 21 yes or no then you can find the third the z position of the center of mass how do i find the z position of center of mass i apply the same formula z position of center of mass First mass is 7 multiplied by minus 3. The second mass is 4 multiplied by z value is 7. Plus third mass is 10 multiplied by minus 1 divided by 7 plus 4 plus 10. And I think the answer that uh, we are going to get is minus 1 by 7. You can put all the three together and match. Which option is matching? I think option number C is matching. And that is our answer. Did we get this, everyone? We understand this, yes or no? Well done. I must congratulate you. Remember, uh, for you, multiplying and dividing may be a big task. And that is why I'm giving you time. I'm giving you sufficient question. This is the next question that comes for you. This is question number three or four. Or I don't know. Question number three. And I'll give you two minutes to solve this question. You have got three particles. Why every question consists of three particles? Three particles with uh, three velocities. You have to find the velocity of the center of mass. I will give you two minutes. I hope that you can give me an answer this time around. So how are you supposed to do this? You have to find the velocity of center of mass. I apply the velocity formula. What is the formula of velocity of center of mass? M1, V1, M2, V2, M3, V3, divided by M1 plus M2 plus M3. So 20 into 10i plus 30 into <coughs> 10j plus 50 into 10k divided by 20 plus 30 plus 50 and the answer that you are going to get would be what would be option number Would be option number what? Would be option number A from here. Well done if you have done this. <clears throat> Anyone understands this? Yes or no? You just have to multiply and divide it. Do we understand this? Do we understand this? Yes or no? How many of you got the correct answer? not a good sign you just have to multiply and divide beta it's not a good sign that you're not getting it i'm not uh, very impressed with this it was a simple question you should have got the answer not impressed anyways this is the next question the distance between carbon and oxygen in a carbon monoxide is 1.1 armstrong unit 
mass of carbon is 12 mu, mass of oxygen is 16 mu. Calculate the position of center of mass of the carbon monoxide molecule. This question has come many times. I will give you two minutes to give me the answer. Just to help you out, I can also give you a diagram so that you can calculate. Remember, the diagram is not a part of the question, but I'm giving you the diagram so that you can solve the question fast and give me the answer fast. So I hope that you are going to give me the answer for this question. I will wait until I get an answer. We have to only find the x coordinate of center of mass. Do we understand this? Yes or no? So how do I find the x coordinate of center of mass? M1, x1, plus M2, x2, divided by M1 plus M2. Let me call this as M1, the carbon as M1, and uh, oxygen as M2. Now, the mass of carbon is given as 12. The position of center of mass is 0 because the origin is here. Plus, mass of oxygen is 16, M2. Multiplied by the distance between oxygen and carbon is given as 1.1. So, 16 into 1.1 divided by 12 plus 16. So, this will become 16 into 1.1 divided by 28. You just have to calculate this. When you calculate this, you will get it as 0 0.63. So it's just a thing of your calculation, beta. And the answer would be 0 0.63 Armstrong unit from the carbon atom. Do we understand how this question is done? Well done. I thought that this question is a tough one. But it's good to see that you are able to understand it and uh, do this. One last question. Are we ready for this last one? Anyone understands this? One last question. And again, this question does not have a diagram. But I will give you the diagram so that uh, you can solve it faster. So I'm giving the question with the diagram. The diagram is not a part of the question. I'm giving it to you. Four, board, four masses, four 8 kg, 2 kg, 4 kg and 2 kg are placed at the corners of a square. This is how they are placed. You have to find out the distance. The diagonal of the square is given as 80 meters. Remember, the diagonal of the square is given as 80 meters. You have to find out the distance of the center of mass from the origin A. You just have to apply do not look at what is given in the question. You just remember what you got to do. Do the question. I'll give you two minutes to solve it. So, Bacha, how are we supposed to do this? Just take a hint. We can call the side length as A. So, this will be A. All the side lengths are A. So, coordinate of this point becomes A, comma 0. Coordinate of this point becomes A comma A and coordinates of this point becomes 0 comma A. Do we understand this everyone? Let me call this as body number 1. Let me call this as body number 2. Let me call this as body number 3. And let me call this as body number 4. <clears throat> so I'll get the answer in terms of A. To find the X position of center of mass, what do I do? I multiply M1 by X1 plus M2 by X2, plus M3 by X3. When I multiply M4 by X4, and I divide it by M1 plus M2, plus M3 plus M4. Everyone understands this, yes or no? Now, M1 into X1 is 0 because it is placed at the origin. M2 is 2 kg, don't make a mistake. 2 kg multiplied by A. Plus M3 is 4 kg, the x coordinate is A, plus M4 is uh, 2 kg, but the coordinate is 0, so it becomes 0 divided by M1, 8 plus 2 plus 4 plus 2. Do we understand this?
डू यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस बेटा व्हाट आई हैव डन do we understand this beta what i have done okay so it becomes 6a divided by 16 so it becomes a divided by 4 yes or no okay similarly you can find the y position of the center of mass now we'll have find the y position of center m1 into y1 which is 0 m2 is 2 kg y coordinate is 0 m3 is 4 kg y coordinate is a m4 is 2 kg y coordinate is also a divided by 8 plus 2 plus 4 plus 2 So this also becomes six a by six sixteen. Uh, I have not divided it correctly. That is a problem. Six a by sixteen. So I will divide it by two. So it will be three divided by eight. That would be three divided by eight. So the coordinates of the center of mass becomes three a by eight. Comma three a by a. Do we understand this, everyone? Do we understand this, everyone? Now, you can only if you even understand up till this point. The rest of the them is math. The length of the diagonal is given beta, and the length of the diagonal is given as eighty centimeters, and that will be equal to a into root two. Do we understand this? So from here you can find out the value of a. A will be forty root two, and that would be your answer. Okay. We understand how this is. How this is done? You just have to find out the value of a. You have understood the concept of uh, center of mass. How do we find out the center of mass of a system of particles? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay, then in the next class we will go ahead in this chapter and see what is the next topic. Take care. God bless you all.